Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series. In today's tutorial, we are going to discuss a DAX function switch. So let's go to our data model. And in the data view, we have a table category. On in this table category, we have category and brand. And here we wanted to create new groups. So we are going to use a new column, and there we are going to do uh, use it. Switch can be used at multiple places. It can be used in majors. It can be used in columns. So we are going to take an example here, creating a new column. Now there are two versions of switch so before we are first going to try the first version which is group and we let's call it group one and then we'll say switch and simply expression so what we are going to give we are going to give brand as a column so what are the value of brand so what happened if it is b1 okay so if it's b1 then we will the result is let's say group one okay and i press alt enter two three times so let me quickly copy paste those of you don't know the shortcut is alt enter to get into the line and so 2 is 2 and 3 is 1 4 is let's say 2 again and 5 is 1 again and let's say everything else is in group 3 And let's close the parenthesis and let's see so we got group one group one group one and group two and group three so this is the way when we, you have not given a value uh, you have not you are given any condition here to check but you have given a value uh, you are given a column and you are checking its value so you are going to get this kind of stuff now there is much more powerful version of this switch with true means in that case you can actually have individual uh, statement where you can check the values so now we are going to do this we are going to replicate the exactly same stuff so let's create a new column out here and we'll call it as group 2 and that can do more much more complex stuff let's say I will try that out we'll call it group 2 now here we are going to say switch and here we are going to say true now switch true means everything is going to be expression where we are going to check out for a value and then when it happens based on the true value we are going to take a decision and then there will be else Again, we'll do a few alt enter and now here every time we have to say brand equals to let's say b1 then we will call it group 1 comma and then let's copy paste this 3 4 okay and let's alt enter 5 and then we will have a default value which is group 3. So we call B2 as group 2 and here we don't need to do this much what we are going to say so if a brand is equal to B1 so we are not going to do like because we can give a condition out here so we say in B1 comma B3 comma B5 all these are group 1 and in B2 comma B4 is equal to group 2 okay so we have like this so we have done something wrong we have not closed the path this bracket out here let's close the bracket okay same result now here we can specify uh, uh, conditions so we can have multiple conditions we can have in clause and all those now here one more thing i could have actually considered one more column so let's say i want to also consider category so when it is category four then it is not going to be group two so let's say and category not equals to four so then then let it be group three okay so what's the error m percent m percent category okay category dot category dax comparison does not support integer type okay so we will say like this okay so now we will get a group 3 also here fine so try this out to let us know what else you wanted to see in this function or any other uh, power bi function Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon so that you can get notification for the new videos. Thank you.